Hi, I am Dr. Sandeep Jha. I am a liver disease specialist and a liver transplant surgeon. Today we are going to talk about large volume paracentesis or ascitic tapping. Large volume paracentesis or ascitic tapping is done to deal with large volume of fluids that can collect inside the tummy of any patient with liver cirrhosis. As you know that ascites is one of the most common complications of liver cirrhosis and it can develop in 50% of the patients within 10 years of diagnosis of cirrhosis. So when the fluid buildup is in small amount then the doctor tries to control it with dietary modifications or prescription of diuretic tablets which reduce the amount of fluid buildup inside the tummy. In advanced cirrhosis, however, large amounts of fluid can build up inside your tummy that are either resistant to diuretic or can develop complication like kidney injury due to prescription of diuretics. In such case, patient might have to undergo large volume paracentesis in which we put a needle and drain out the water. Initially, it can be done once a month. However, if the fluid builds up too much, then it can go as frequently as once or twice per week. And this becomes a very troublesome thing for the patient and it can be quite distressing for the patient also. Patients are quite apprehensive about this procedure initially. So I'll try to outline the basic steps of this procedure. So this procedure can be done on outpatient basis. This procedure can be done with or without ultrasound guidance. However, use of ultrasound is makes it more safer. The patient is usually awake during the procedure. The doctor administers a local anesthesia which dulls the pain around the needle insertion site. After assessing the vitals of the patient, the doctor inserts a needle inside your tummy. It can be on the right lower side of the abdomen or left lower side of the abdomen. After insertion of the needle, slowly the fluid drains out from the abdomen. Simultaneously, the doctor will take an intravenous access to infuse albumin 20% solution during the procedure. This makes the procedure more safe and prevents hypotension or low blood pressure during the procedure. Now this procedure can take up to three to four hours or more depending on the amount of fluid that is built up inside your tummy and how much time it takes for all the fluid to drain out. Doctor will monitor the vitals that means pulse and BP during the procedure. The doctor will further observe you for half an hour to one hour to see if any hypotension or low blood pressure episodes happen or you are comfortable after the procedure before sending you home. The doctor might also choose to send the fluid for analysis because it is important to rule out infection in the fluid that is collected inside your tummy. It is quite a safe procedure. However, a small amount of risk of bleeding or hypotension that means low blood pressure can happen during the procedure and hence the doctor might observe you for some time after the procedure. The doctor might drain around 5 to 8 liters or even more depending on the amount of fluid buildup inside your tummy. Initially this procedure might be required once in a month or maybe two months but as the severity of cirrhosis increases it can go up to once or twice per week if it does not respond to diuretics. Now after a large volume paracentesis the ascites should be easier to manage with diuretics and it depends on the severity of cirrhosis if it is managed with tablets or not. So in early cirrhosis, once we have done a large volume paracentesis, then we can prescribe diuretics and other dietary modifications and fluid might not build up again inside the tummy for some time. However, as cirrhosis progresses, these diuretics or dietary modification might not work as well and more frequent large volume paracentesis might be required maybe once or twice a week. If it happens so frequently, the patient is quite distressed and troubled and hence at this point the patient is advised to go in for a liver transplant if he was to get rid of these repeated procedures. If in case you are not eligible 
for a liver transplant or you don't want to go in for a liver transplant then a tips shunt can be done in such a patient however you require proper evaluation about the further strategy of management in such patients so if you think there was important information in this video and you benefited from it then please like and share this video and subscribe to my channel so that more and more people can benefit from it thank you <music>